be honest with ourselves for a minute here, Skip. Let's just be honest. Other guys receive criticism for showing up short in the postseason, correct? Mm -hmm. Many of them. Oh, yeah. All the way from the greatest of Michael Jordan, all the way to where we are in Tatum. Mm -hmm. They all do. James Harden. James Harden. Think about it. What's the difference between James Harden and Luka Doncic? What's the difference? Well, Harden didn't make a finals. But, that, but, but that, I'm just talking just about... Just the criticism. Just the criticism yeah. in the postseason yeah. about usage rate Ball, dribble, 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 Oh, you take it. We did that to James. We did it to Tatum. We did it to Michael years ago. I wasn't in the media, obviously, back then, but the media criticism was, oh, yeah. We, to the point where the man finally won one, was crying on the trophy. So when you say that Luca's not showing up, it's not a, it's not a indictment. It's just facts. Well, it is an indictment. How so? Scary? Well, he deserves to be criticized, just the way all those other guys did. Yeah, but 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 you make it sound like it's an indictment that I'm like crucifying him for playing poorly. No, I'm giving you credit. You called it before. Okay. You said I'm not there. I got to see I'm, more. I'm not, I'm not there. Okay, you're still not there. The reality there. of it is, is yeah, he scored 29 points. His usage rate is at a 37. Mm -hmm. so I got him 38 for oh, the Oh, 38. Finals. Maybe yeah. you, your yeah. math might be better than mine. You went to Vandy. Yeah. But you you, you, you look at it. <laughs> it's in Nashville. In yeah. Nashville. And mean? you say to yourself, <laughs> here, here's, what, here's my question. Yeah. Is Luka good enough to win a championship as the sole rider in the car? Is he good enough to do that? Probably well, is not. It, is Nobody anybody? Is. Nobody no, is. But, yeah. but, but, but probably not. Mm -hmm. But what happens in these conversations is you make it seem as though he's the only guy on the floor, he's the only this, he's the guy who's going to do it. And then when you look at it, you say, well, start going to his fourth quarter. Start looking at those things throughout the playoffs. This is his first championship, okay? It's his first championship. Dallas obviously got to make some changes and do some stuff like all teams make these adjustments to get back there. I like him as an offensive player. But even as an offensive player, there's so much that he needs to work on from my eyeballs and from what I see. He needs to get better at the free throw line. He needs to get better. He needs to get better at the three points. He needs to reduce the turnovers. And then when you go to the defensive side, don't give me that he's playing better. When the bar is so damn low, you're going to play better. Mm. But even your head coach has questioned what you do on the defensive end. When you have a target on your back and they say, come over here with us, man. You, you, we got you. Let's pick and roll. Let's do this. Let's switch on him. That's a problem. That's a problem. Will he ever be a great defender? No, probably not. Probably too late for him to all of a sudden become Bruce Bowen. It's probably not going to happen. Mm. You know, but there's maximum effort. There's things that matter to me as an ex-athlete that may not matter to some people. Mm. When you arguing and bickering with referees, that factor in the championships. You can't do that in win championships. Agreed. Because it messes with you yeah. from a mental standpoint, causes frustration, and you throw the ball behind your back. Or you wave your hands in the air. You do all of those things. Last two games, he got better at that. But go he ahead. He may have gotten yeah. better. It was too late mm -hmm. then at that yep, point. it was. You already done killed mm -hmm. the duck. Mm -hmm. So... I, I just, you know, look, man, I just look at other players that have gotten this criticism for not finishing the deal. And I said from day one, you kept trying to sell me. I'm like, you good, but come on now. Let, let's finish before we start just anointing guy as the, even to the point where I don't know what serious it was. It might have been the Minnesota deal. It might have been OKC. The next time we started split screening, Larry Bird and Luca. We start split screening that. Well, I, I wasn't behind that. And I'm like, that. no, yeah. and I say we, I mean yeah. like in this sports media conversation yeah. space. And I'm like, come on, stop, Paul. Mm -hmm. We we can't do that. You just can't do it. Well, that's gonna be forever throughout our game. We love to do the comparisons. We love to say, how does the present compare with the histor history and historic? I mean, just like we did Luca. So you did Tatum, Bird. you did Tatum and, and Michael and, and, then and you Kobe Nim? Yeah, and then you look at 
Anthony Edwards looking like a young Mike. We this is what we love to do when we talk sports because we 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 look at our iconic figures in the sports and, so, and you always wonder who can be the next him, you know, because since he was such an icon, will there ever be another one? And we always dreamed that like, man, maybe we can see this again. Will we ever see another Michael? Will we ever see another Magic or Bird? Will we ever see another Shaq? And when somebody comes along that kind of mimics that or, or symbolize, like in a way, we grab it and, and try to run with it. And, and that's just the beauty of sports because we always want to see that, that something that was so memorable, we want to see it again. You know, and that's gonna go as long yeah, as we mind, here. I don't mind that. And, and I love I the fact. I love that. that. If and, it's, I don't mind that if it looked like that to me. Yeah. But that don't look like that to me. I don't mind glimpses of Ant Man jumping in the air, looking like a dude that was young, like a Jordan. But no one ever said he's gonna win six championships like Jordan. Yeah. He just had certain. Maybe stuff. they might not do the same things that they do, win or get the same accomplishments. But it's good to look and just say, man. Man, it just reminds me of my favorite player. It just reminds me of a, a guy who I idolize. It just reminds me of it's, it's just, it's the charismatic way that he carried himself off the court. And, and we love to do that. And, and so, talking about Luka, though, have I lost or gained any respect for him? I actually gained some respect for him, uh, Skip, mm. for the simple fact that we tend to forget. And the reason we haven't criticized Luka the same as Tatum's been criticized. You know, a lot of talk has been surrounding Tatum. Can he win a championship? You know why? Because since day one, he stepped into the NBA. He's gotten to the conference finals six times. He's gotten to the finals. And, you're, and so we get to the point when you do all those things to say, hey, can he win one now? Well, in Luka's case, and he should be mentioned in the same breath as Tatum as far as can he win, because since Luka's come into the league, He's been the favorite the last few years to win MVP. He has. That's my point, he's been, though. He's been on first team all NBA since his second year yes, in the league. That is correct. That's my point. But the reason we don't give him the same expectations is because he hasn't been on a team with expectations. Yep. And so now, moving forward, since they made it to the finals, we're going to be like, can Luka win one now? Mm -hmm. Since he Absolutely. showed us he can get there with, with a less than stellar team, they were a fifth seed. Yeah, uh, they weren't a fifth seed, Bob. Yeah, but still, they were a fifth seed. I mean, they were teetering along fifth, sixth, seventh, you know, toward the end. Yeah, but the West was Now, it's, it's, do we consider Kyrie a superstar still? Is, is no. It, I mean, did he? I don't even know. Did he make All-Star this year? He didn't even make All-Star, right? I don't he didn't so. make All-Star, but the simple fact, you got a, your second best player wasn't an All-Star. Nor did he make All NBA. Yeah, he wasn't an All Star by the voters, but I would think no, a no, lot of I mean, people. No, I mean, no, Kyrie no. can still go. No, he can still go. I mean, he's a little up there in age. He just finished his 13th year in the league. He's not the Kyrie we saw in the finals with LeBron 2016. He's no. not that. No. So, with the respect to Luca, for him to carry the weight of the Dallas Mavericks from a fifth seed all the way to the title while being on the road for the last two months. My hat's off to him, because I did not expect him to be here. If we had to say, who you got in the finals before this, the playoffs start, we would have said probably out of the East, Celtics, most 99% most of people. And then out of the West, people, a lot of people picked Denver. And then once Minnesota got going, people picked De Minnesota, even though OKC was the number one team in the West. So my, my respect for him, they went up another notch. Yeah, he was up and down in the finals, but no expectations. But moving forward, I'm expecting the same energy on Luka as we gave Tatum here on out now. Okay, fair enough. I lost respect for Luka because I had gained so much this year during the regular season. I have laughed at the bird comparisons for five years on this show. I have <laughs> laughed at Luka's defense for five years on this show. I have laughed at his three-point shooting for five years on this show and his free-throw shooting for five long years on this show. He went and he did yesterday. What's that? He went up he was, a brick he went too. Brick. He got the, that, that, see, he got the demons but back. But you don't really head. expect that from a, 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 uh, but, a, a but, great shooter. But, but, a, a good, he, but he, I know Skip is going, and I hate to chime in on this situation. This is why I say to myself, 
the same criticisms others would get for bricking those two. Mm. That, that's all I'm saying. Keyshawn. Oh, you're talking about LeBron. Anybody that's Keyshawn. supposed to be. He's been, <laughs> he's been a horrible shooter yeah, he has been. for years. So stop trying okay. to make it seem uh, like he's a cold-blooded shooter. All of a sudden, he went to somebody's lab last offseason, and he came back and dramatically improved. He went from 33% from three to 38%. It's a huge jump, yeah. huge jump.